Here's how to make a Fred again track on FL Studio. Let's start by opening up a project. We can then go up to our tempo and change this to 127 beats per minute. To be honest, anything around 130 beats per minute is fine, since that's a tempo for a house track. And we're using the style of Maria for this track, which is a house song. As always, we want to start with our chord progression. This will be an uplifting track, so we want to use a major scale. So what we can do is click up here, go to view, then go down to scale highlighting, and we can select the major scale and then choose the root note. I've decided to go with A sharp. We can now use any of these white notes as these are in our scale. These darker highlighted notes are not. It's really simple to create chords. All we're going to do is choose our bass notes. Then once we've chosen these, we can copy these up an octave. As you can see, these are exactly the same notes. Then what we'll do is skip a note in the scale and add a note, and then skip a note and add a note. You'll see that I haven't added this note here as I pitch this up an octave. You can see now that I've pitched these top notes down, they all follow this structure. Skipping a note, adding a note, skipping a note, and adding a note. These are called triad chords because they consist of three different notes. For the sound I'm using, I've taken this lead sound and turned off monophonic mode so that I can play chords with it. This sound is from GrainX4, which is a plugin I created which has over 400 presets. It contains lots of single sample sounds and also multi sample sounds, where different samples are blended together to create thicker sounds. You can use any key preset you want. You don't have to use GrainX4, but if you want to check it out, the link's in the description. It's currently 50% off. We're then going to copy these chords and paste them into a new pattern, where we'll be using any form of pad sound. By having multiple layers, the sounds sound bigger and fill out the mix. Now we want to add a bass line. We'll simply copy the root notes of the chords for this, and there are a few different options we can use. This is a sub bass. The exact preset was this again again sub bass from GrainX4 again. But for these sounds, I want to have a more rhythmic bass line. So I went into GrainX4 and I chose a synth bass. This sounds more plucky than the first bass. Again, this just follows the root notes of the chords. These notes up here are simply the same notes but pitched up an octave. Now, here's a really interesting part of the track. We're going to add the lead. Fred Again's tracks typically have really aggressive in-your-face lead sounds. Think about songs like Turn On The Lights and Stay In It. For this pattern, we can use any notes in our scale. There's not really much advice I can give here. It's just use your ear and find something that sounds good. For the preset I'm using, I've taken a lead preset in GrainX4 called the Wind Lead. Again, you can use any sounds you want to use. And then we're going to copy the exact same pattern again, but use a softer lead. This is the sound I'm using. I've then sent both of these leads to mixer tracks. I've done this by simply opening up the channel rack by pressing that button, then going over to the preset that I used and changing this number here to assign it to a mixer track. I've changed the panning to shift these notes right or left in the mix, just to create some space. I then selected both of these lead presets in the mixer track and I've right clicked down here on an empty mixer track and rooted it. This means that we can apply effects to both of the leads in one go rather than having to separately apply them. For effects, I've used a decapitator. This is a distortion plugin and I've also added some reverb. Here's an idea of how they would sound with and without effects. Now we can add some other lead elements to fill out the track. Here's this flute sound I got. For the notes, these literally just copy the top notes of the chords rather than the root notes that we were using earlier for the bass line. And then finally, copying the exact same notes again, we've got this bell lead preset. Now it's time for the drums, which is actually really simple for these type of tracks. We're going to use a standard house drum rhythm, which involves a four on the floor kick, which means a kick on every single beat. And then an open hat on the offbeat, so in between each kick. And then I added this top drum pattern, which is just a clap and a hi-hat, and the occasional percussion element. 
You can create your own or you can download these from sites like Splice. Splice samples are all royalty free, so you can use them in any of your music. Lastly, there's this vocal that I got again from Splice. For this kind of track, we'd want something like this that carries a bit of emotion. Or in Fred Again's case, he sometimes samples recordings. Fred Again gets really creative with this kind of stuff. He samples Instagram recordings and pretty much anything he wants to. The final part is that we want to add a low pass filter on the intro, but we only want to apply this to the leads. So I've gone back to that bus that we sent the two lead mixer channels to earlier and added a fruity parametric EQ2. We can then click up here, go to presets and select the 20 hertz to 18 kilohertz cut. Then we can drag this low pass filter and right click on the frequency button here and click create automation clip. Then we can drag down this frequency here and open this up towards the drop. Here's how this sounds for just the leads. And finally, a high pass EQ, which is on the master channel. We basically want to take all of the bass away from the song just before it drops, which I can demonstrate to you now. <laughs> Before I forget, there's also these cool transition effects that you can add. You can add these every eight or 16 bars just to add a bit of impact. And on the master track, I've added this Ozone. This is an AI mastering plugin, which I use on all of my tracks. I'm not sponsored by Isotope, who own Ozone. I just wanted to show this because it's a great plugin. Anyway, here's how the final beat sounds. I hope you guys learned something in this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, also, if you want to access GrainX4, check out the link in the description. It's currently 50% off to only $49. Oh, 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 oh,